Hello, BookTube. Yesterday, as some of you probably have post-traumatic stress enough to remember, I did a mega stuff video that lasted about four hours. So today's mega stuff video is going to be extremely brief. I know I say that every time and it goes to 50 minutes and I say, oh, look at the time. It's going to be extremely brief. There aren't going to be any tech updates at all. I read for four hours today, all on my Kindle Paperwhite and loved it. Uh, there's not going to be any Condi updates. My little, my little rice cooker has become completely indispensable to me and I am now learning all kinds of new recipes that you can do, all kinds of things that you can do, even with a little $15 device that I got. There's not going to be any of those. I'm not going to go on at great length about that. I'm not going to go on about great length about anything, including uh, the, the live hand grenade that I dropped in an earlier video that I have not stopped getting emails about. I mentioned the possibility of doing a live stream on this channel, and I haven't stopped getting emails about people saying that they want me to try it. Okay, so I will probably try it. I don't know anything about the technology, but I figure if everybody else can do live streams, maybe I can. But I'm not going to do any of that at all. This Mega Stuff video is going to be very brief. We're going to deal with mail. And that's all. And it's just one package. And it's very light, so it could be a slim volume of poetry. So we could be out of here very quickly. We're going to just do one. I'm pretty sure there's more mail coming today. Uh, but we're just going to do this one thing, and that's it. Oh. Oh. It's not a slim volume of poetry. Oh. Uh, well, Sarah from the Bookish Knitter, if she has wandered out of the room for snacks or to pet her enormous black cat, Gorn, she should probably come back into the room for this one, <laughs> since she's the one who got me into this. Uh, it's a romance novel. And it's not a Regency romance novel, the type that I live and breathe. It's instead contemporary cowboy. Or, as Sarah puts it, contemporary cowboy because <laughs> she turns into wet taffy when cowboys come up <laughs> this is by caitlin cruz i feel certain i know that author i feel certain i have read her before uh this is secret nights with a cowboy a kittredge rants novel i feel certain that i have read this i wonder if there are pictures i'm so much better with pictures of earlier covers Oh, all right. So the the f previous volumes in the in the, this author is doing a Kittredge Ranch novel. This might be the first one in that series. Uh, we'll find out. Uh, but this this same author has also done the Cold River Ranch series. And the three books in that series were A True Cowboy Christmas, Cold Heart Warm Cowboy, and The Last Real Cowboy. And I know I read The Last Real Cowboy and really liked it. And I think I also read A True Cowboy Christmas and liked it as well. So. Uh, but one way or another, that's the thing when you when you read romance uh, novels, uh, not everybody has Sarah's encyclopedic recall of these authors and what they've done and all. I certainly don't. When you read that many of them, and you know there is an undeniable sameness to romance novels. It, it, those of you who disdain the genre because you think that its pre that its fans don't see that sameness, you're dead wrong. Of course, we see that sameness. You love it anyway. But th that sameness can make it a little difficult, just like with mystery novels, it can make it a little difficult to recall <laughs> which, what you've read and what you haven't read. But I feel certain this author has, has pleased me in the past. Uh, so let's see what we have here. This comes out on the 1st of December uh, from St. Martin's Press. USA Today, Today bestseller Caitlin Cruz returns to Cold River, Colorado and Cowboys with an emotional second chance romance in Secret Nights with a Cowboy. The stunning first installment in her new Kittredge Ranch series. Okay, so this is the first book in a series. Uh, and that uh, that mention of a second chance romance, there are all kinds of, of plot gimmicks in that, that run throughout the romance genre. And one of them is that, the, the, the second chance, where it's not friends to lovers, it's, it's not opposites attract or anything like that. It's that some kind of circumstance, usually pretty heartbreaking, and usually born of misunderstanding, simple misunderstanding. So that if, if the parties involved sat down and talked it out at the time, it wouldn't have happened at all. But usually, something like that, something horrible and grating, causes two people who love each other to break apart for some period of time. And the second chance is them getting a chance to, to get it right the next time. It can be very satisfying. As long as the author doesn't make it too easy. And these ladies, the, the ladies who write these romances, they don't ever make it too easy. So I don't have to worry about that. Uh, Riley Kittredge has always known exactly what he wanted. His land, his horses, his woman. Oh, hopefully not in that order. 
Good Lord, Riley, get your priorities straight. Uh, he met and married Ray Trujillo far too young, and their young love combusted right after they said their vows. See what I mean? So, so you get the sense that obviously they broke, they went their separate ways, but it was love, and it was true love. So you get the sense that you, in these kinds of novels, you get the sense that they might have been able to not waste that time. And as in all things romance, the archetype for the pattern is Jane Austen. And you all know which Jane Austen. <laughs> anyway, let's, let's move on here. Um, but their passion has never managed to burn itself out. Yet when Ray shows this time, it's not a sight, it's not a night of pleasure, she demands, but a divorce. Oh, so they didn't divorce. They just separated. Ray should have moved on a long time ago. She knows she and Riley just don't work. They might make great lovers, but that doesn't make a great marriage. <laughs> Tell me about it. Deb and I learned that ten different times. Uh, and now Ray wants a new life, complete with a baby. But when her husband offers... Oh, see, that, that was different. Deb and I had no use for little squidges. Uh, just leave them out on the lawn. They crawl away on their own. <laughs> but when her husband offers to be a father and give her the family she's always secretly desired, she and Riley will both have to face demons from their past and choose love over fear at last. Okay, and the oh, the author's biography here on this pump sheet is as long as the, the, the description. I wonder why. USA Today best-selling author, Rita-nominated and critically acclaimed author Caitlin Cruz has written over 100 books, including Harlequin Presents, Harlequin Dare, and The Cold River Cowboys. Oh, Sarah must know those books. She's, she is the number one Harlequin reader on this platform or any other platform. Why they don't hire her, I don't know. In fact, <laughs> Not Harlequin, but I know that there are two, at least, people from St. Martin's watching these videos, and you can easily find Sarah's channel. I'll leave a link to it on this video. Why the romance industry has not seen fit to employ her, I do not know. <laughs> it's, it's, it's true that if one of your novels does something dumb, <laughs> if, one of your, if one of your authors does something dumb, it's true that Sarah is going to point that out, and she's not particularly gentle when she does that. <laughs> but but when she loves what an author does, it will be totally heartfelt. As far as I'm concerned, why would you want to hire a yes person? You would want to hire an enthusiastic reader like that who can be disappointed if your if your writer steps out of line. You certainly would want that over a crusty old dinosaur like me. Uh, She's won fans with the romance, women's fiction, chick lit, and work for hire young adult novels she's written as Megan Crane, including futuristic dystopian Viking romance Edge series. Futuristic dystopian Viking romance Edge series. So we're right back in the territory of talking about my marriages to Deb. <laughs> These days, her focus is on contemporary romance in all its forms, from small town heat to international glamour. Cowboys to bikers to military men and beyond. She's taught creative writing classes at places like UCLA Extension's prestigious writers program, gives assorted workshops on the writing process, and attempts to make use of the MA and PhD in literature she received from the University of York in York, England. You're making the best use you possibly can. The best revenge for the snobs you had to live with the whole time you were getting those degrees is to be a best-selling romance author. Trust me on that. She currently lives in the Pacific Northwest with a husband who draws comics and animation storyboards and their menagerie of ridiculous animals. Okay, I'm not sure why that author note is so big, but I, it's very, it's very uh, personable. All right, so this is a romance novel. It comes out on the 1st of December. I'm going to read it tonight. I'm not going to wait. Why should I? It's, November's half over. Uh, so there you go. <laughs> Secret Nights with a Cowboy, the first in the Kittred Ranch novels, Caitlin Cruz. So that is going to end our mega stuff video. Our mega stuff video is a mini stuff video for today because yesterday's was egregious an egregious abuse of your time. So look at that. Under 10 minutes. Well under 10 minutes. There you go. That's your mega stuff for today. I, no tedious updates. We can save them all for tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to wrap this up for now, but I will see you soon. Thank you, BookTube.